Welcome everyone to one more session in computer vision and image processing tutorial series. In this particular session, we are going to look at some of the properties of contours. In the last session, we looked at functions and now we are going to look at some of the properties. So, if you haven't subscribed to the Edignite NGO channel, do subscribe to it right away. So, how to now coming back to the contours, so how to uh, get the properties. For that, we need to import uh, CV2 as a CV, okay, and import NumPy as NP, import NumPy as NP, okay, import NumPy as NP. Now, I will show you one of uh, one image, okay, so IMG or I will just write hand, okay, because the image is of hand, okay, so I will write hand CV.IM read, CV.IM read and D colon dash dash img data img data dash dash input dash dash input dash dash hand dot jpg hand dot jpg and over here we will write cv dot im show cv dot im show hand and we'll give a comma hand 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 and then cv dot weight key weight key cv dot weight key and cv dot destroy all windows cv dot destroy destroy all windows windows destroy all windows okay so this is our code we will save it and then we will run our code okay so you see we have got an image of hand over here okay so this is the image of hand okay and now what we will do is we will apply threshold over here okay so we will write we will have underscore comma th1 okay th1 equal to cv dot threshold threshold cv dot threshold first of all the image that is hand okay and then we need to have the values okay so let me just give the values but before we get the values let me just convert it into gray scale so hand underscore gray gray okay hand underscore gray equal to cv dot cvt color cv dot cvt color and in cvt color first of all we need to give hand cv dot color underscore bgr bgr2 gray gray okay so bgr2 gray gray and over here we will write hand underscore gray okay because we need to operate over over the gray scale images so hand underscore gray and then let me type 100 comma 255 over here okay 255 100 comma 255 and then I will give 3 cv dot thresh okay cv dot thresh underscore binary cv dot thresh underscore binary binary underscore underscore inv inverse okay let this be 200 because uh, I think it should be 230 because uh, we we need to find out some white values over here okay so let me just uh, show it to you oops i need to write th1 th1 and then save it okay save it and then run the code you see that i have got my hand over here but still i have got some noise okay salt and pepper noise over here so i will just increase the value to 235 okay we'll increase the value to 235 and then run the code oops we have uh, we have more of salt and paper noise so 225 okay and then run the code okay i have got perfect shape of the hand over here okay so this uh, this is this you can do by hit and trial method okay either by hit and trial method or by introducing the track bar uh, track bar over your image okay so this is our hand okay this is our hand and now we will create contours okay so let us create contours in our hand okay first of all so let me so cnts okay cnts whoops it's 
it's C N T okay C N T S contours comma hierarchy hierarchy equal to C V okay C V dot so here mark my words that this this particular thing is very 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 important for you okay so find contour C V dot find 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 contours contours okay this particular thing is uh, is what we saw in last last lecture okay here we need to give the threshold th1 then we will give the mode okay so here it will be cv cv dot r e t r r e t r r r e t r external okay r e t r external okay there are several modes but retr external is the the best one okay and then we need to have cv dot chain approx simple okay so cv dot chain chain underscore approx approx underscore simple okay okay so here it is okay chain approx simple here okay and we need to oops we need to we need to move all these things okay so chain approx simple okay i will just uh, i will just press control z okay so it's chain approx simple okay so here we have found our contour okay i will i will zoom out a bit okay and then what we will do is we will use we will uh, count the number of contours over here okay so let me write print print oops here we need to write print and here we can write len of cnts okay c n t s so i am just printing the length of contours over here okay so let me just run the code okay you see that we have 10 contours over here okay we have 10 different contours over here now what we will do is we will draw the contours okay so let me just type draw contours cv dot draw contours Okay, so I M G or hand, hand and C N T hand with contours equal to C V dot draw, draw contours, contours. Okay, C V dot draw contours. And over here we will give first of all we will pass we will we will pass the the image. Okay, so I M G and then we will pass the contours c and t s okay then we will we will pass the the color okay so let us first of all let us pass the index of the contour then we will pass the colors so let that be let that be over here i need to have hand okay i need to have hand and over here let the thing be 255 comma 0 comma 0 okay so we will have contours in blue color okay so over here we have 2 co 55 comma 0 comma 0 and then the thickness of the contour so here it will be 2 okay and then i will just type hand underscore c and t okay and save it now we will run the code and you see that we have these contours over here okay we have these contours over here now what i will do is i will just give one over here okay i will give one over here and i will print it you see that i have very small contour over here okay this is due to the noise that is uh, around this particular image okay this is due to noise around the image so what i will do is i will use a kernel and i will use erosion okay you already know what is erosion if you don't know anything about erosion then do check out our video on erosion okay first of all let me create a kernel kernel equal to np dot ones np dot ones and first of all the value 6 comma 6 okay 6 comma 6 
and then we will write np dot u int okay u int unsigned integer eight okay so this is our kernel with six cross six values okay and then and then i will i will just write i will i will just write over here th1 equal to th1 equal to th1 let it be th1 equal to cv dot cv dot erode cv dot erode okay so first of all over here we need to give image so image will be th1 then we need to pass the kernel okay so here we need to pass the kernel and then we need to pass the cv okay then we need to the, then we need to pass the erosion type okay erosion method but that is optional so let us pass uh, let us let it be this way okay let it be this way and then we will we will just rerun the code okay i will type minus one over here okay and we will also print the length of contours okay so over here you see that now the length of contour is one because the the image okay the extra point or extra noise was now eroded and you can see that the length of contour is one and you need to check for the length as one you for the reasons you will know later on later on in this particular lecture we want the length of this particular contour as one okay so we will just close it and now we will look at the property now we will have hull okay convex hull over here so hull is nothing but something that a uh, uh, a polygon with minimum edges that that contains our contour okay so let us type hull over here okay i will just remove this and now i will type for okay for c in c n t s c in c n t s okay and here i will write epsilon epsilon okay epsilon equal to 0 0.001 epsilon equal to 0. 0, 000, 000, 000.001 actually into cv dot arc length okay we will cv dot arc length arc length l e n g t h cv dot arc length and arc length will be uh, c okay arc length is c is it a closed type yes it is so we will give true over here okay so arc length and uh, and this okay and we will multiply it by 0 0.001 triple zero one now we will just fit this into the our data okay so cv cv dot cv dot polygon we need to have a polygon so approximate polygon approx poly dp okay approx poly dp let me hit enter curve curve uh, over here the curve is c okay so curve is c then we have epsilon is it closed yes it is closed so we will pass true over here okay so we have uh, we have our data and then we will create a hull okay so hull equal to hull equal to or let me write hull one equal to because we need to have one more hull over here okay so hull one equal to hull one equal to cv dot cv dot and we will write convex hull convex convex hull okay cv dot convex hull and then convex hull we will give the value of uh, our the curve okay we will give our data so data and then we will just print this out and cnt okay we will cut it and we will paste it over here okay so we have pasted it over here and we will paste one more thing over here okay so here we will type let this over here be c okay we need to give it in list and over here also we need to give our hull in list because it accepts the list data type okay so hull in list as well as c in our list oops we have an error okay hull one okay so error is gone and now let us uh, let me just change the value of hull to 0 comma 0 255 comma 0 or 0 comma 0 comma 255s r bgr so red value okay and then 
we will run our code you see that now we have got our convex hull over here okay we have got our convex hull so this was the convex hull and now we are going to see the convexity defect okay a property that is convexity defect now what is convexity defect convexity defect is is the farthest point okay is the set of farthest points from the hull okay farthest points on the contour from the hull okay so let me just uh, uh, run it again okay so this point will be convexity point this point over here okay this point over here let let me just uh, move this up a little bit so this point this point over here this point yes this point over here will be convexity hull okay this will be convexity hull as the distance between this and this okay this distance is very high it is maximum so maximum distance is the convexity it is the convexity defect okay and we will find the points of convexity defect over here okay so first of all we will we will move out of this loop okay we will move out of this loop and then over here we will we will just write hull 2 okay hull 2 hull 2 equal to okay equal to cv dot convex hull okay equal to cv dot convex hull so convex 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 hull equal to cv dot convex hull and over here we need to give all the points so we will write c and ts and the points at 0th index as it is an array so i need to pass an element of that array okay and we we will give return points equal to false okay so we don't want to return the points return points points return points return points okay return points equal to false so return points equal to false so we have given our hull to and then we will find the defect over here okay so defect will be equal to defect defect will be equal to cv dot cv dot and we will write convexity defect convexity convexity defect okay convexity defect first of all the contour okay so the contour the value of contour is c and t s zero okay c and t s at zero and we have the convex hull as hull number two okay so this is our convex hull so we have this defect over here and now what we will do is we will just print this defect okay so we will just type print defect okay print defect and save it now we will run the code okay so you see that we have got this all these values in our console okay let me just uh, expand this okay let me expand this and i will expand from here okay i will expand from here so you see that we have got all these defects over here so what is the value we have got array of arrays okay and inside this arrays we have four different points okay so what is the significance of all these points all these points are the points which are farthest from the hull okay which are farthest from the Hull. so now what we will do is we will print the shape of the defect okay so let me just write defect dot shape okay defect dot shape so we will just type defect dot shape and we will we will uh, we will close it and again print the code okay so we have printed the code and you can see that what is the shape shape of this particular thing so we have 14 rows okay then we we have a single column and we have four elements inside each of these 14 rows okay so it's one cross four now what we can do is let let me just close it again okay i have closed it again and i i, I will type defect 
shape and the element at 0th index okay so i will get a, a range over here okay i will get a range over here i get 14 over here okay so what is at 0th index we have 14 at 0 0th index so we have 14 things over here okay so what can be done is what can be done is to iterate over all the elements we can write for okay for for i in range okay for i in range of defect dot shape and then we can we can iterate over each and el every element if we if we actually don't know if we actually don't know let me just close it okay so if we actually don't know what is the shape okay what how many rows are there in the that particular shape what is the actually what is the shape of that okay now now we can just write starting point okay the first coordinate over here is for starting point then we have second coordinate for ending point okay then we have f okay that is the farthest point okay the farthest point over here and then we have the approximate distance okay d so we have four things over here and in four things we can just write defect defect at okay defect at i defect at i comma zero defect at i comma zero okay let me just uh, comment this out and comment this particular thing out okay i will just print defect at one comma zero okay or defect okay. let me just write print print defect defect at uh, two two comma zero okay two comma zero as we have 14 rows and in that we have one array so it will it will just return one single array okay i will run the code let me run the code over here okay you see that it has returned us one single array okay so we want this particular array itself okay so uh, we are writing defect i comma zero i will just remove this this may take a longer time this video may take a longer time but understanding of, of concepts is very very much important over here so here we have printed starting ending then we have the farthest point and we have the approximate distance okay now we have starting point okay we have the starting point what we will do is we will just write starting point we will just store it in start okay and we will uh, we will convert this into coordinates as coordinates are in tuple so we will convert this into coordinates tuple and then we will write c and t s okay c and t s okay or we will write es we will write c and t s and then we will do or c actually c is that that single element in c and t s so c and we will write at s okay c at s comma zero okay c at s comma zero because we have s and then we have the the coordinates in the in the zeroth index okay so here we have start then similarly we will do for end okay so e and d end so ending points will be tuple okay let me just uh, copy this code and paste it below okay i will copy it and paste it below so i will paste it below and i will paste this below so we have start and end and path okay start end end and it will be end e and then we will have f a r far okay for the farthest point and over here we will it will show you f okay c at f comma zero so here we have written this and now what we will do is we will uh, we will have a line okay we will create a line between starting and ending point okay we will create a line between starting and ending point so we'll write cv dot line cv dot line and then we will just have img okay so we will use we will give the image okay here it will be hand 
underscore cnt hand underscore cnt not img but hand underscore cnt then we will give the starting point as well as ending point so this was the reason of converting it into tuple okay and now what we will do is we will we will just give the values over here okay so 0 comma 0 comma 0 it will be black and the thickness will be 2 it will be black and thickness will be 2 and now we will run the code okay we will run the code you see that we have a, a black line over here between starting and ending points of two lines okay so this is the starting point of the hull and this is the ending point okay so we have this line over here now what we will do is we will just create a circle okay we will create a circle at the farthest point at the farthest point where there is convexity defect so we will write cv dot circle cv dot circle and we will give we will give far over here okay far okay and here we will it should be in tuple actually 0 comma 0 comma 0 and then it here it should be it it can be 255 okay 255 the farthest points and then we will run the code okay whoops we have okay so we have forgotten our radius so radius can be 5 okay radius can be 5 so here we have far then radius as 5 then we we have we have this color values and we have we we have this minus one okay now we will just show it you see that we have all the farthest points okay we have all this is the farthest point okay the the green one okay so let let me just move this way so over here over over here okay over here this point then we have this point then we have this 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 and this point okay so we have all these points over here okay so this way we can find the farthest point okay we can also find the starting and ending point so i will copy it and i will paste it below okay i will paste it below and over here we will write start okay so starting point and for starting point for starting point we will give 0 comma 0 comma 0 okay and we will save it now let us run the code over here you can see that we have starting points of all the hulls okay we have starting points of the of all the hulls and similarly we can give the ending points okay so let me just type end over here end okay and i will give a space in between so that it it looks more readable code okay so over here and over here we will we will write 255 comma 255 okay 255 comma 255 and we will save it and then run the code okay so you see that we have end points okay we have these yellow points over here so this was about starting ending and the farthest point from the hull okay farthest point from the hull actually so this was about the the convexity defect and now what we will do is we will find out the extreme points okay so i will just remove both of these lines okay and then we will move to finding out extreme points so the way to find extreme points will be uh, we will uh, we will find the extreme points on the basis of the maximum area okay maximum area of the rectangle okay we will have four extreme points okay and we will draw a rectangle or a polygon with that that four points and we will find the extreme points the array of extreme points with that area so what we what can be done is over here we will write c max okay c underscore max and we will use the max function in python so we will use max function in python and over here we will just write c and t s okay contours we will give all the contours and the key okay key accord okay over which we want to find the max function will be cv dot contour area okay contour contour area cv dot contour area okay 
so it's c o n t o u r okay it's c o n it's it's not c o u n but it's c o n t o u r okay so contour area and then what can be done is we can print c underscore max okay we can print c underscore max just for the information okay so you see that we have got all these we have got several values first we have got an array okay first we have got an array over here and then we have got this array and inside this uh, we have got array of arrays okay and inside all these array we again have got arrays one more array and then inside we have the numbers okay so we have got our c max over here now what can be done is we will we will just print out some, we will just uh, extract the extreme left extreme right extreme top and extreme bottom uh, from here okay so over here let let me just uh, move, remove this part okay so this will be extl extl extreme left okay so extreme left will be a tuple okay so we will store the values in the tuple so that we can use it easily okay so the extreme left will be first of all we have c max okay c max c underscore max and then c max and we also have the element at c underscore max c underscore max and we want okay we from all rows all columns at 0th index okay at 0th index we want a minimum one okay we want a minimum one so we will write arg min arg min over here and over here we will give zero okay we will give zero so we have we have got our extreme left tuple okay similarly we can get our extreme right tuple so extr okay we have extr and over here it will be arg max okay so over here it will be arg max so here we have extreme right, right sorry extreme left as well as extreme right tuple then we need to have ext top so i will just type ext and we will give top over here ext top okay and over here it will be at one th index okay first index over here and it will be minimum okay and we have extreme bottom so ext b and over here it will be at first index arg max so m a x m a x arg max and it will be zeroth index okay at zeroth index as it is the first element so we have got left right top and bottom okay we have got all these things and now we will just use cv dot circle over there okay so i will copy this and i will paste it over here so first of all we need to have e x t e x t left okay extreme left and at extreme left the color can be color can be 255 comma 2 blue and green and zero okay so it will be a combination of blue and green then we can have extreme right e x t r e x t r and the combination can be this okay the uh, it will be a pink and uh, pink color i think okay then we will we will just print this okay so here it will be extreme top e x t top extreme top over here it will be pink color i think blue and red will give you pink so zero and over here we will give 255 okay and we have one more thing so here we have ext b ext b and over here we will we will just give so here we have 255 uh, we will just give 255 255 and 255 okay or we can give 100 over there okay so we have all these things over here now what can be done is we will just run the code okay we will run the code 
but first of all first of all let me let me just cut it okay and over here you can see that we have we have written this code and we will run the code okay we will run the code over here so here you can see that we have several colors what we will do is we will we will just uh, we will just remove this code from here okay because we have several dots and we may get confused okay in these several dots so we have one blue dot over there okay at at the bottom we have one blue dot okay so just let me just you see that we have one blue dot at the bottom okay right at the bottom over there okay over here and then we have one dot over here one over here and one over here so these are the extreme points okay these are the extreme points so that was about the properties of contours so that's it for this particular session thank you everyone